Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and we unboxed a ton of stuff on a giant live stream we did not too long ago. Now, the live stream is mostly not unboxing. It's us answering questions and me doing stuff in the background. It's a very long stream, and I know a lot of you guys don't have the time to sit and watch the whole thing, so I took all of those unboxings and broke them down into individual episodes that we have fully edited. The sound is a little wonky. We were getting interference on the wireless lab, and I didn't notice anything until afterwards. I did my best with it. That said, I hope that you guys can enjoy or appreciate these unboxings a little more in their edited form. All right, guys, in this part of the edited live stream, we're taking a look at the Ranger 3 from Light Object. It's a big boy and it's way heavier than I thought it was going to be, but it's actually a really, really nice desktop CO2 laser. I had a blast opening this. I wanted it for a really long time and I'm really excited uh, unboxing it here that I even got to have one and, and it was in front of me in the shop. So I think you're going to enjoy this one, guys. All right, that's that. Let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. Two very big crates over here. The big one right in front of me is the Ranger 3 CO2 laser from Light Object. Very excited to open this and touch it and look at it. I've, I've been wanting this for a while, ever since we uh, visited their facility out in Sacramento, California. We need to get the Ranger out of the way. So we'll start with just these gigantic zip ties. Get rid of those. Try to get some of this plastic wrap off. All right, here's the first look, guys. Uh, there it is, lots of foam. So I'm gonna go up and over with this, I think. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here it is, guys. That is a gorgeous little machine. It is cool, huh? There's your, uh, your work bed down in there. Got a few things. Uh, we've got some exhaust hose, looks like three inch hosing. In the bag here, we're looking at ethernet cable, power, silicone tubing for chilling. We've got zip ties for cable management, hose clamps, and what I believe is a metal focal stick here. That looks like a focal stick, right? Uh, looks like it might be. So for now, I'm just gonna set this weird array of things aside. So hoses out of here and there's your bed guys i don't recall the bed size on this kyle uh, i think it's 24 by 16. i will uh, sounds I will about right to me you do get motorized z on here you also get a trosin controller which is another laser everything first here guys everything that we've ever done on co2 uh, ever has been with ruida controllers and this comes with a touchscreen trosin controller which from what we've seen look very nice but i don't have any experience with them so i'm i'm very much looking forward to being able to talk about Trosen uh, with some expertise after uh, playing with this machine a bit. It is, uh, it's a 24 by 15. 24 by 15. So cool. it's a nice little compact machine, but as you can see, the uh, the percentage of bed to machine size is actually not bad at all. It's not bad at all, dude. Uh, not at all, a hundred percent agree with that. That's one of the reasons that I wanted this particular unit for the home studio is because, yeah. you know, it's a, home, it's a home studio. Not only do we have to have all the laser equipment in there, but we need to have all of the production equipment in there as well. Emergency stop button, Trosen controller. We still got the paper on our shields, which I'm never gonna wanna take off. Here is our gantry locked into place. It is, thank you Light Object for actually zip tying this down. So we do have that zip tied into the corner here. And this is a high to mid to high range machine guys. So this isn't quite Eon, but this is a million steps uh, above something that you would get from like Ohm Tech as well. So here it is, uh, very, very tight on those belts. Uh, which is nice. Uh, so it looks, looks cool. Good rail system. Seems different than like the Omsec, so uh, not necessarily a clone. It definitely has kind of its own feel, its own vibe to it. So yeah, and uh, you can see too the uh, very small lightweight laser head on this thing. See what we got under the hood. We are looking at a 75, it's a 70 watt, uh, 70 watt CO2 laser tube, water cooled in the back. And this is from JK Laser, which Again, another laser everything first. We usually work with uh, the resi tubes on here. And dude, the white is freaking me out right now. I don't want to, uh, oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this home by myself. <laughs> uh -oh. It's heavier than I thought. 
one more for maybe. for context, guys. The Safe. the shipping weight listed oh. on the website is two hundred and eighty six pounds. The yeah, machine weight high. is one hundred and eighty pounds. It's not uh, super light. Here's the bed of the machine. Uh, we do have ooh, mag it's magnetic. It's really That's nice. nice. That's a little weird. <laughs> Doesn't open probably up just all so the it way. doesn't fly open. You could uh, probably pop easy. those off. I bet I could replace those with some like gas pistons. But yeah, they they definitely pop off. Uh, just a couple hex wrenches, no weird screws or anything. So yeah, these are very easy to remove, and then at least it'll uh, it'll open flat. No knife bed on this unit, just so you guys know. There is a flat table underneath there with a kind of like square cut through pattern. And then we have our square honeycomb table, which is very interesting. Definitely not something that you see every day. One thing that I appreciate about the bottom plate though, is that it has ridges on the sides. So this actually isn't going to be just no floating twisties. around, you know, it, yeah, it locks in, uh, it locks right in. The tolerances are really good on that. So you can just kind of pop it up and you know that that's where it's going to be. And you can see it a little better now, the size, how small, this reminds me of the Eon for sure, how they tried to keep that laser head lightweight in order to get those speeds up on your scanning. So uh, I definitely appreciate that too. Just access in general, if I just pop these open, you guys aren't really gonna be able to see this, but I'll just kind of tell you about it. Back here, we do have ox uh, access, very easy access. Oh my God, I love this. The, the water flow sensor is right there and you can just, super nice, dude. One of the motors is right here. So you actually don't have to go in through the bed. Right inside the side panel it. there? Yeah, at least that motor, uh, it's just hanging out right there. The, they cut it out in the body so that you can get right to it. Full side panel access to get to mirror two there. Is that, Very nice. is that toolless? Yeah, that's tool. Yeah, these are just- Like clippy are, panels? Uh, plastic. Clippy oh, panels. that's so nice. Yep, no tools, no triangle screwdrivers or whatever. And then let's just check out the left side back here. Uh, we actually have a panel on the back as well. The exhaust itself actually has a removable panel for installation. And then this is padded and sealed in the back or wherever you're going to be uh, extracting from, which is really nice. So if you need to access anything back there, that's very easy to do. I've got a high voltage sticker on this panel. And if we pull that one off inside, we can see uh, light object uses their own CO2 laser power supply, which is really nice. So they, they like have their own branded ones built right into the machine, but it's just mounted with regular hex screws. So if you wanted to pull that out and replace it, it seems like it would be easy. Easy. They also include one of the, uh, you know, the adapters that I put on my tube so that you could just screw it and unscrew it, like the power yeah. connection that's built in. So you can just and just pop it out. Everything else by a genuine Meanwell power supply. And that's all wired up really well back there too. So that looks great. I love when people use Meanwells, man. On the left side over here, again, you can't really see it, but there is an ammeter built in to the side of the case, as well as your ethernet port. And this panel also pops open. And inside this one, we can see the uh, actual Trosen controller. I cannot wait to do this review, dude. It's it's laid out. <laughs> it's laid out so nice. You can literally just touch everything. Get to it's everything. All, dude, it's so freaking nice. But even like your relays and stuff, like they're all right here. The stepper driver controller right here. Very, very cool. This is a very, very cool machine. I just don't know how I'm going to move it. <laughs> there it is, guys. So that is the Ranger, 70 watt Ranger right there. Really pretty, dude. I love the uh, I love the black and white on this too. I really, if you really guys like are it. seeing the, the Z axis on this, it's really designed to go on like a table basically because with Alex standing on that pallet, it's basically to his knee. Yeah, so exactly. you have enough Z height to be dangerous, but not so much that it's sitting on the floor. This is like a high wattage Mira 5 with a little extra Z depth. Which, let's be honest, that little bit extra might be a good thing. Just if you're doing a lot of rotary work or something. Look at that, man. That's uh, that's really nice. So uh, here comes the part where I don't know what to do because we'd unbox the Mactron, the Ranger's in the way. Thank you guys so much for watching this part of the unboxing series from the live stream that we did a few weeks ago. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope editing down that live stream made it a little easier to consume and digest. We've got a lot more unboxings coming, a little more traditional, what you're kind of used to seeing as far as regular laser everything videos. So we'll be getting to those very soon. If you got value out of this, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. 
If you love the channel and you want to support all of the work we're doing over here at Laser Everything, please consider signing up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel, and everything we do here is thanks to the members supporting us over there. You can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. As always, guys, links to the free Discord and Facebook group down below. But that's all I've got for today, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.